Hi, I'm Rick Hunter, the lead paleontologist at the Museum of Ancient Life at Thanksgiving Point. And we're here in the Paleo Lab today to talk about the art of fossil preparation. There's more to paleontology than just digging up bones. When fossils are discovered in the field, they need to be collected in groups of bones because they are so extremely fragile. Individual bones take a lot of time to take out of the ground, so it's usually faster to remove large blocks of bones, bring them back to the lab and take them out of the rock where we have controlled conditions. So how do we do that? So what we do is we put the blocks of bones in field jackets. What's a field jacket? It's a plaster and burlap cover that we put over the bones or over the block to hold them all together and it stabilizes things so that we can transport them. All of the fossils are discovered in rock and we call this rock the matrix. And this matrix tells us a lot about the environment where this dinosaur was discovered. Once the fossils are back in the lab, what we need to do is remove the rock that's covering the fossils. And we have a variety of tools that we use to do that. One of the tools that we use is an air scribe. And basically what an air scribe is is a miniature jackhammer. And the stylus goes in and out very quickly and chips away the rock that's covering the fossil. As we're using the air scribe, we need to be very, very careful. If the stylus touches the bone, it's going to mark it and chip it away just as easily as it does the matrix. Depending on the size of the fossil and how fragile it is, we use a number of other tools to remove that matrix. And it could be dental picks, it could be small brushes. We even use carbide needles many times under the microscope. So as we're using the air scribe to remove the matrix, we use a number of different angles of attack, different processes of sweeping back and forth or pushing back and forth into the rock to try to get the sand to blow off of that fossil. So as we look down into this field jacket, you're going to notice that these bones are really broken up bad. That's from being in the ground for 145 million years. So at this point, what we need to do is start reassembling this stuff. So we have to look at it first and analyze exactly a game plan how we're going to do this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to use some adhesives, maybe some glue, some hardener, and some Bondo, which is an auto body filler that makes a fantastic gap filler in these bones. And we're going to start to put this together and stabilize it. Once the bones are assembled in the jacket, the next step is to put a hardener on them so that they're stable enough to move out of the jacket. And we have a really cool product that we use for that. It's called Vinac. And what Vinac basically is, is a plastic bead that looks much like sugar. And we dissolve that in acetone, we paint that on the bone, it absorbs down inside the bone, the acetone evaporates and leaves a nice stable bone that we can now remove out of the jacket. So once the bone is completely cleaned, we have some areas that need some restoration. So what we do is we usually put a little bit of texturing on some of the adhesives, and then we do some color restoration with paint. And in the end, you can't even tell where that thing was put back together. Once the bone is completely prepared, it's ready for the next step, and that would be study. So we have a nice clean bone that we can now study. We can learn as much as we possibly can about the fossil. And the next step after that would eventually be exhibition. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining us to learn the art of fossil preparation. So if you like the video, please subscribe because we have a lot more videos coming in the future. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section below. Or you could just stop by the museum and check it out for yourself. Thanks, we'll see you next time.